thanks so much again for taking the time. Of course, I'm happy to be here. Can you remember why you wanted to become a musician? What mm. was what fascinated you about the guitar? I don't think there was a choice. I always say it's like how I make sense of myself in the world because the world's a very strange place. Yeah. And it's the only way I know how to navigate the world. Interesting. That actually answers a question that I would have asked you later. Um, cool. It's about why are you creative or what makes you create music? It's not a choice, you know? <laughs> it's just well, like, <laughs> there's nothing else I can do. Does it sometimes happen to you that you have the feeling of being stuck or that you ran out of ideas? Totally. I go through these weird phases where I don't understand how to play music and it's like yeah like I'm at gigs and playing I, I'm constantly playing but it's like I'll be like what does it mean to solo like how do you solo how I'm just play, I'm just like playing things that don't mean any like I get really in my head and definitely the stuck thing like and I don't know when I'm like feeling stuck how do you get out of it or normally like other musicians will inspire me I'm um some people think I'm crazy I'm out like Pretty much every night, I've been trying to be better about it, where I stay in at least once, maybe twice a week, which would be crazy for me. Um, but I'm out all the time if it's not at my own gigs, at other people's gigs, because that for me is super inspiring. Mm -hmm. And Los Angeles right now, I mean, I'm, sh I'm guessing you're experiencing it while you've been here. Like, I do. Every single day, there's like so many incredible shows, because there's so many great musicians that are out playing right now. It's like, I feel like the city's bubbling uh, the music it scene, you know, it and is. just like art-wise. So. Seeing shows inspires me. I'll like do a transcription and normally and like playing with other musicians because it's like ideas don't necessarily it's not like yeah I'm like a vessel I'm a vessel that there is cr like creative whatever juices inside of me but also so much of what actually um, I think has how you evolve is by looking at the world around you and listening to other musicians and other and art and just the world is such is how you learn. As an artist, you are kind of working between um, your own preferences on one hand and serving the market on the other hand. Um, do you feel that there's a tension sometimes between those two? What I have found is the more you don't pay attention to that and you're just true to yourself, the more lasting your art is, the more interesting your art is, the more true your art is. So yeah, by like trying to like please other people you're just gonna create crap and I've even seen it like I can think of a, a producer I was working with who was like producing this song and he was very much trying to appease the record label to like you know make it more pop or make it more whatever yeah. and it totally backfired because it just didn't it didn't sound true mm. it's really hard to do I think because there's a lot of pressure especially if you did one album that was kind of successful yeah you are kind of have to repeat that in a mm -hmm. way but still do something new yeah and I always feel badly as a consumer because even like that's what I'll want sometimes is like if a certain artist will do a thing like I want them to do that thing again if I love that thing you know and then if like their new album's different I always feel badly if I like don't like it because I still want to appreciate that they're trying to create art and evolve mm -hmm. um, what would you say helped you probably help you most to become the musician that you are now just playing I think there's no secret it's like I just am super fortunate to play a lot of guitar. I've had some incredible teachers and professors and mentors in my life, but mostly playing with other musicians that inspire me, that make me grow. I'm really lucky that I get to play with musicians that are better than me all the time, or like whatever better means, but especially growing up, you know. Um, and yeah, my time in school, I got to play with a lot of incredible musicians that pushed me. And still now. And that's why I play all the time. Even when I'm home, like, it's like a $50 gig. Like, I don't care if it's $50 if I, I mean, it, this is now getting into a different complicated subject. But, um, yeah, but I just love playing. Do you remember a crucial experience, probably kind of an insight in your career that helped you move forward or that was kind of a big step to you? Yeah, there's like two that I just thought of. Um, one is, I have told this story many times, I was in a lesson with like one of my mentors, Bruce Foreman. I'd studied with him a lot while I was at USC. Uh, and I showed up and I was like in one of these moments where I was like, oh, I suck at guitar, like, ugh, whatever. And just like, we were in our lesson playing because that's what we would do. We'd just like play. Um, 
and he was he like threw his guitar down. He's like, Molly, like, what is this shit? Like, why are you like? Don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. Don't disrespect the music. Don't disrespect the instrument. Every time we're sitting with our instrument, like we have an opportunity to like create something beautiful and like this is a gift. Like don't come here and be disrespectful to me and art. You know, or like it was like something like that. I mean, he was probably way more poignant. And I was like, uh and like that always stuck with me where I was like, what a privilege. Like I get to spend time with the guitar. Like that's my job is to do this. Like that's one moment that really stands so out. And yeah. then um, I went through my first breakup that was like, you know, a long-term boyfriend. Um, and I and it kind of coincided with the musical growth spurt as intense things in your life often do. Um, and I remember I had this, I was, it was like right after we broke up, like the day we broke up or the next day I had a gig. And I was... Um, and I played so well because it was such a release. I feel like in the relationship, I felt like I couldn't be myself. Like he wanted me to be a different person. And then the same thing with my instrument. You know, everyone's always telling you, like, you, we don't need another Wes Montgomery. We don't need another Jimi Hendrix, whatever. Like, you be you. And, like, somehow the breakup and guitar, like, it all made sense together. Like, oh. Like, I'm me, and it almost was like, and if people don't like me, or people don't like my sound, like, that's okay. Yeah. Like, if everyone loved me, then something would be weird. Yeah. You know, if everyone thought everything I did was awesome, then I would be not me, I don't know. That's not how it works. How do you find the right guitar sound for a song? Yeah, normally, like, if I'm sent to, like, I recorded on an artist record a couple weeks ago, and he, and he sent me, the, like, a few of the tracks. And so I was at home and I like, you know, was just like messing with different sounds and what and like what's needed. A lot of the time it's like not having your what you want to do be the first thing, but what's actually like the song needs and trying to be mature about that and not have an ego about it. Um, whether like maybe you don't play, like things like that. So finding the sound I feel like has a lot to do with the part. Um, and what your function is in the song. And yeah, like sometimes it'll be like, you explore, like, and, see, and push the boundaries. Like I just laid on this classical recital thing for one of the members of the LA Opera. And like, I had like crazy heavy distortion on a song. And I like, it felt kind of weird, but I was like, is this so inappropriate? But he was like, no, go for it, keep going, you know? Like, okay, so, so we'll explore. Yeah, sometimes, and he'll, <laughs> sometimes I'll, I'll, people will direct yeah. me like, no, let's go, like, Hardcore here, or whatever it is, yeah. Okay. So I explore. Yeah. Okay, I think I got a final question for you. Okay. Um, what would be crucial to you to pass on to your students, if you had to pick one? Yeah. Um, to not be afraid, that's something, like a lesson I learned. Like, not coming from a place of fear when you're on stage and when you're with your instrument of like, whether it's like fearing not sounding good enough, fearing that someone's not gonna like you, fearing that you'll never, whatever it is, like I always feel like just not being afraid. Um, I think being okay with the process is really helpful and like looking at things at a more macro versus micro level and understanding like, like yeah, everything builds upon itself. Growth takes a long time and if you can like step back and see growth over a long period of time, I think that can help. Thank you so much. Of course.